Hello everyone, this is Code Ode. In this video, we are going to talk about code organization, which means it is time for us to create a ball object. But first things first, let's uh, remember what we have done until now. We have learned about the canvas, the context, uh, the main three parts of a game, update, draw and the game loop. Uh, we have seen that uh, how to create the illusion of um, animation um, we are moving our ball uh, with two pixels uh, towards right and two pixels towards left um, as you can see right now we are not taking the time in consideration we are not moving in respect to time uh, well you could you could say that we are moving with respect with time because um, uh, this uh, method request animation frame is actually calling uh, uh, the game loop um, 60 times per second which means uh, it takes uh, uh, 16 uh, milliseconds anyway uh, now it's time to create a ball object we see that we have all these variables here that are that are related with the ball and we also see that we have um, that we we work a lot with this uh, coordinates uh, x and y velocity x and velocity y so my idea is to create a function you can write it here function and call this function vec2 because it's a, it's about two those two those two coordinates and uh, it takes as uh, parameters um, the x and the y and then uh, uh, from this function we return an object that has uh, two properties x which has a value x and y which has a value y so we have this uh, we can use this for position for, for velocity and whatever we need and now it's time to create a ball object we write function ball and then we write here position velocity and then a radius we know that in javascript functions are first class ob they are objects right they are first class objects so it's like uh, we are working with an object when we, when we uh, are working with a function. So we can write here this pos equal pos this where this uh, keyboard this refers to the current object, which is this function, this velocity equal velocity, this radius equal radius, and now we can define some methods because we see that we have updating and uh, we also have drawing so we can write here this update if you do not know about this stuff I advise you to search on Google and uh, learn about this stuff because uh, it is quite useful to write code like this uh, so we define the update method so we take the code from here in fact we are going to rewrite the code so we write this uh, position x uh, plus equal to this uh, velocity x because uh, this position is in fact this object that uh, it's returning from this it's uh, being returned from this function uh, you will see in a moment and uh, then this uh, pose y plus equals this velocity y and then the drawing this draw again this is a method this is how we write uh, the methods when we are working when we are working with uh, the function as an object because functions are objects so we can take the code from here and write this post x this post y this radius and that's it and now we can remove all the stuff and we can write const ball because we do not want to change this ball at all it's going to be an object of type ball and we write new ball in order to create an object not a function this is a keyword user new and then here we have to pass uh, 
an object uh, that has uh, these two properties x and y we simply call the function vec2 which in turn returns this object and we pass the coordinates for x200 for y200 we do the same for velocity vec2 well vec2 comes from vectors if you don't know so I advise you to read a little bit about vectors because they are pretty important so velocity on x is going to be 2 on y is going to be 2 and radius let's say 20 and now we can go here and say ball update well we have to give it another name because they are very similar so we can write ball like this and then change here ball update and then here ball drop and then if we save let's hope everything is fine and everything is fine you can see that now the radius is way smaller and um, our circle is moving the animation is working well let's uh, talk a little bit more about it so we have a function here that returns an object we, we do this in order to keep the, these two coordinates uh, in a way that uh, it's much more easier for us to work with them because we also have position and velocity for the both coordinates and then we we know that in JavaScript the uh, functions are objects and uh, if we use this new keyword when we call a function that function is actually going to return us the object an object so here we have to use this in order to work with the current object that is being returned that is being saved in this uh, variable ball and we initialize uh, this uh, data here, the position, velocity, and radius and then we write these two methods, we have to write them like this update and draw and finally we make the changes here in order to see uh, the new code working, if it's working and uh, it is working well once again I advise you to google all this stuff because uh, it's very important uh, to learn about uh, uh, using functions as objects and uh, of course about vectors uh, but uh, we are going to keep uh, things simple and uh, make it easier for everybody well that's it with the tutorial uh, I hope uh, this is very useful for you. See you next time.